Today is National Canadian Film Day. It's a day to celebrate all things Canada, whether it's movies, documentaries, you name it. Joining us now to talk more about this is Anita Lee, the Chief Programming Officer for the Toronto International Film Festival. Yes. Thanks so much for joining yes, us in thank studio. Thank you for having me. Of course. I love mm -hmm. this because mm -hmm. it is celebrating homegrown talent here. Tell us the significance behind this day. Absolutely. You know, I think the day is so significant because uh, it's a real opportunity for us to really think about all of the Canadian talent uh, here in Canada, you know, specifically Canadian writers, Canadian directors, Canadian filmmakers. Um, you know, I feel like just in the last uh, decade or so, there's such a growing uh, renaissance of incredible homegrown talent and a real diversity of filmmaking. And it's a really a, a moment that we can celebrate them. Okay, you mentioned filmmakers here. Uh, tell us some names that some Canadians should look out for. Absolutely. I'm going to name a, a few filmmakers who I feel like are really up and coming. Some of them have been at TIFF uh, very recently in the festival. Others have been uh, uh, in the light box in our new theatrical programming year round. Others have participated in our talent labs and have moved on to really succeed at the international level as well. So of course, uh, Matt Johnson, Blackberry, I think people have heard of that film, someone to watch. Uh, in Flames, Zara Khan, uh, playing in the light box uh, very shortly. Uh, another filmmaker to watch, The Queen of Dreams, Fazia Mursa. I believe that film has also played, uh, well, TIFF, but other festivals locally in town as well. And I'd like to also mention To Kill a Tiger, a film by Nisha uh, Pahuja, which had a lot of press recently nominated for Best uh, Documentary at the Oscars this year. So much good stuff yeah. coming out of Canada here. I want to talk a little bit about the folks behind the scenes. It takes a village to put these projects together. And TIFF is also uh, celebrating these uh, behind the scenes talent. Tell us about some of the initiatives that fosters and nurtures the talent we have here at home. Absolutely. I think the film festival, of course, uh, you know, is so high profile and exciting, and there's a lot of attention on the film festival itself. Uh, but we do a lot of behind the scenes talent development. I think some people don't realize that we have a real spectrum of very rigorous talent labs that run throughout the year and during the film festival. Um, just recently, we just launched uh, the TIFF uh, studio, uh, writer studio, uh, this this uh, past week. It's an annual program that brings together Canadian and international writers with mentorship, uh, both with uh, international and Canadian mentors from the industry. Uh, for example, just tonight, uh, we will be celebrating uh, a TIFF CBC uh, uh, a screen um, a screenwriters uh, a program and, and uh, a celebrating a filmmaker, uh, Ariel Nassar, who is the winner this year. We also have a Rising Stars program annually that celebrates on-screen talent. Uh, we also have a, a, a Chanel lab that celebrates specifically women uh, writers behind the scenes. So that's just the wealth of talent labs that we do, really uh, uh, developing and supporting Canadian talent right from the beginning all the way to, you know, uh, uh, you know, helping them, you know, uh, uh, come, come on board the international stage, both at, at TIFF and in award season as well. And so many different uh, careers here for, for people that you're helping from writers, those on screen, those behind the camera as well. I'm sure that's extremely valuable to those here in Canada. You don't have to go too far. Yes. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about the festival. I know it's a, it's a big one here. TIFF 2024 is just around the corner. It'll be here in no time. The 48th annual festival here. Can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect? You know, um, it's still early days, uh, so there's not too much I can say, but I can say we have started to see films already. Uh, we are in conversations with very, very international, uh, uh, interesting international uh, projects as well. Um, and so we will have a very exciting festival this year. Lots of news to come. One of the things I would like to just emphasize on today is that TIFF is the largest annual showcase of Canadian films here in Canada and abroad. And last year we had what I felt was an incredibly strong showcase of Canadian films. And you can expect that again this year. Uh, we will bring, you know, wonderful world premieres of Canadian films to audiences here in Toronto and um, wonderful Q and A's 
panels and, and talent development as well. You're bringing that glitz and glamour right here to Toronto. Anita Lee, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Great. Thank you.